Harry's wife, Ginger Prejudice. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. I turn to an article that shed some light on the thought process of Prince Harry and his involvement with his wife. As always, of course, I leave it up to you to determine the veracity of the material. And the article in the Daily Mirror states, Prince Harry thought the ginger gene wouldn't stand up in kids with Harry's wife. In the early stages of their relationship, Prince Harry fantasised. He's at it again. Did he rub some cream on his knob while he was thinking about this as well? Prince Harry fantasised about what his children with Harry's wife would look like. Although he's admitted he didn't expect them to be ginger. Well, hang on a second. Harry, you're speculating on what your children might look like and that you didn't expect them to be ginger. I say this is ginger prejudice. I say that you, as a ginge, are being prejudicial against gingers. That you're thinking that someone who is a fan of pubes isn't able to ensure that his offspring are gingers. Indeed, you're speculating on what your children might look like. That's terrible. You're speculating about whether they could be gingers, whether they might get the ginger gene, whether the ginger gene is strong enough. Will they have the same hair colour as you? Well, apparently, somebody speculated about the skin colour of your children and you deemed that to be racist, although then you said, well, we didn't actually use the word racist, so that means that the royal family aren't racist because, of course, we still want to try and maintain a connection to them because we need the titles and we need the money. But it would seem, surely, by the extension of the same logic, Harry, that where you and your narcissist wife in the interview with Oprah Winfrey made it very clear that you believe that the speculation about your children and what their skin colour might be was racist. That was the clear, very clear implication of what was being said. And nobody's buying your backtracking, by the way. But for you then to speculate about what your children's hair colour might be, surely that's gingerist. And you're engaging in the very behaviour that you were criticising or at least your wife started out criticising, in the Oprah interview. Speculation about the ginge. Speculation about whether the ginger power can get through. You believed that you didn't expect them to be ginger, and you thought there was no way that your genes would stand up against Harry's wife's. Well... Of course, there'll be plenty of people who say, well, they didn't have to because the children aren't hers, that they've been born of a surrogate. And, of course, there's much speculation about the fact how extraordinary it is that notwithstanding the fact that he's a ginge, that they've got two ginger children. He went on to state, I actually really thought in the beginning of my relationship, should this go the distance and we have kids, there is no way the ginger gene will stand up to my wife's genes, he tells Stephen Covert on The Late Show. Did you now? Or is this just another revision of history? Harry and Harry's wife share two children together, three-year-old son Archie and daughter Lilibet, one who both have red hair. Harry joked, I was wrong, before pumping his fist and cheering, go gingers. Well, great excitement for the numbskull. The 38-year-old also told the late-night host that his young children definitely take after his late mother, Princess Diana, no Diana, Princess of Wales. He said, the Spencer gene is very, very strong. The ginger gene is a strong one. So, both his mother and gingerness have been combined to create the children. Harry and Harry's wife welcome son Archie in May 2019 while they were living in England. Their daughter, Lilibet, was born in June 2021 when the family had moved to California after stepping back from their royal duties. Elsewhere in the interview, Prince Harry claimed if his mum was still alive, a lot of the problems between him and his brother Prince William would not exist. Well, I'll tell you why. 
because your dead mother, Harry, would never have allowed you to marry this narcissist. She would have sniffed her out from the very beginning and seen that she was unsuitable for you. And she would have ensured that the man-hunting, gold-digging, grifting narcissist would not have got anywhere with you. She'd have protected you. She'd have stood in the way. And of course, there would have been no need then for your wife to pretend to be your dead mother because your mother wouldn't have been dead. And then also, because Harry's wife wouldn't have come along and got in the way, it wouldn't have driven a wedge between you and your brother as she has done so. As we all know that because she's a narcissist, she wanted actually William because he's going to be king, but she had to settle for you, Ginge, you and your ginger genes. And her narcissism dictated to her that that was appropriate because, of course, you were a prince of a realm, a prince of the realm, that you had access to titles, that you had money and status, and her narcissism went yippee aka motherfucker we can control lots of people by marrying him we'll get lots of fuel from him because he fountains with it Giza, and there's lots of other people that we can have access to as a consequence of being involved with him there's tons of character traits that can be acquired and there's oodles of residual benefits money status titles the facade and therefore, it was a no-brainer to make her go hell to lever to seduce him. But if Diana had been around, she would have prevented it. Because she would have seen the similar behaviours. She would have recognised the way that he was being ensnared by Harry's wife, even if she had been allowed to meet him. She, Diana would have seen the way that she was going on. She wouldn't necessarily have known that Harry's wife was a narcissist but she would have detected that her behaviours were inappropriate and she would have sought to defend her son, which would have meant, therefore, there was nothing for Harry and William to fall out about. The article continues. Host Stephen asked, If your mother was still alive, do you think about how she might handle this moment? Harry replied, We wouldn't have got to this moment. It's impossible to say where we would be now, where those relationships would be now, but there is no way that the distance between my brother and I would be the same. And that is entirely true. But it does appear uh, that the ginger prince was engaging in some gingerism. And that, again, surely makes him a hypocrite. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.